Natalie is back again. If you're headed to the lake today, watch out for those channel buoys that mark the deepest parts of the water because the lakes are still down a bit. Yeah, you can definitely tell just looking out there, though sometimes islands are mm -hmm. pretty large right now. Check out the levels. If you are headed out to Lake Travis, be prepared. The lake levels are down about 29 feet from its typical July elevation, while Buchanan's about 16 feet behind. There is still water out there to enjoy. You just have to be a little more careful about where you are at all times and try to stay to the deepest parts of those channels, too. Let's take a live look out at Lake Travis right now. Already some activity out there. You can see those uh, boats on our Steiner Ranch Steakhouse Weathernet Cam. If you want to check out the conditions at Lake Travis before heading that way, go to KXAN.com. Under the Weather tab, look for our webcams. You'll find this camera and then a list of the current conditions there, too. Really great tool to use before you head out uh, each afternoon. Let's talk about what's going on right now. We have temperatures already in the low 90s. Very warm today. It's going to be hot this afternoon. If you plan to head out to the water, uh, a pool or lake, anything like that, remember your bottled water as well as your sunscreen. You're going to need both today. Through 10 p.m., our skies clear out. Temperatures dip into the mid 80s at that hour. So for fireworks, it'll still be very warm, but at least we won't have the cloud cover to block any of those really pretty views later today. Current temperatures. We're sitting at 90 in Georgetown. Same with Lano. Head east, everybody in the mid to upper 80s. Giddings, you're sitting at 88 degrees at this hour. It's 92 here in Austin. Winds, a bit of a breeze out of the south. 10 miles an hour there. Uh, dew points in the upper 60s. So a bit humid, but it doesn't feel as bad now as it did earlier this morning. Let's talk about our current uh, pattern. We had this large ridge of high pressure over the eastern half of the country, bringing extreme temperatures to the Midwest, the upper Midwest, even to the east. This high now is starting to take control of our pattern here in Texas. So we'll continue to see our skies clearing for the rest of your afternoon. There's a possibility for one or two showers along the coast working their way into our eastern counties, but that chance of rain very small. Hour by hour through your forecast, here's 3 p.m. There's that shower activity I was talking about to our east. Through the rest of the afternoon, though, mostly clear skies for the majority of us. That'll continue into the evening and overnight. By early tomorrow morning, we'll see a few low clouds developing, but that's really about it. More sunshine expected on your Thursday and hot temperatures one more time. Today, you're looking at a high 99 degrees with a breeze. Um, again, make sure to take those heat precautions. Take breaks in the shade or in the AC if you can, especially during the peak heating of the day. Tonight, down to around 74 degrees, and tomorrow we're looking at another warm one, 99. Your seven-day forecast looks something like this. Temperatures climb to the triple digits by Friday. Stick around through Saturday, too. Later in the weekend into early next week, though, we have a chance for a shower or thunderstorm. 20 percent, pretty low for the time being. We'll be watching that system very closely over the next couple of days. We could use that rain. And flirting with triple digits today. Thanks, Natalie.